Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and today Apple released watchOS 8.5 to the public. This is available to all watchOS 8 supported devices from the Series 3 Apple Watch all the way to the Series 7 Apple Watch. And this was released alongside iOS 15.4, iPadOS 15.4, tvOS 15.4, HomePod OS 15.4, and macOS 12.3. Now, if you're a beta tester or developer, this is the same version that you had with the RC. So 8.5 RC is the exact same version, so you won't have an update. However, if you're wondering how you can update, you can go to the Apple Watch app, go to General, and then Software Update, and you should see the update there. Once you have the update, you can just install it as though it was the same as an iOS update. You can also check for the update on the watch itself. Now this update came in at 159 megabytes that's on the series seven Apple watch. So it's not a huge update, but does have a few changes and updates in it. Let's take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So we'll go to our settings, then under settings, go to general, then about, and you can see the build number here, 19 T two, four, two. This lets us know that this is the same version as the RC and also the public release as well. With this update comes a few different changes. And the first one has to do with mail. So if we go back into the Apple watch app, go down, We'll go down until it says mail. We have a new option to always load content directly. You can load content directly on the watch. Now, if you want to do that. Also, if you subscribe to iCloud plus on your iPhone and maybe you're using private relay along with those mail features, you'll see here, it now says hide IP address in previous versions. It didn't hide the IP address of the mail or anything else. So this has been updated and it's letting you know. So it says hide IP address organized by threads, load remote images. Don't ask before deleting alerts from VIPs and thread notifications and show alerts. So that's everything that it's going to have there. Now we also have some updated watch faces, and these are to match the latest watch bands and cases for Apple's spring collection, such as blue fog that we have here. So you can go into your different settings and you'll see here we have blue fog so you can match that. And then of course it matches on the watch. So with the update, we have all of those compatibilities so that we can match our watch band directly if we want this color or others as well. So you'll see there's various different updates, but we have dark cherry, English lavender, flamingo, nectarine, eucalyptus, bright green, and then also blue fog. So we have that available in watchOS 8.5. We now have the ability to authorize Apple TV purchases and subscriptions. So maybe you want to subscribe to a new app or maybe a new show or movie comes out and you want to purchase that. You can now authorize that directly from your watch within the health app. If you're in the EU and you're on iOS 15.4 and watchOS 8.5, you now have the option to add digital health certificates within the health app. So maybe a vaccination, record. And then this carries across to Apple wallet where you can add a pass to show on your Apple watch as well. So that's in the EU. It's been in other places prior to this. Also, if you use a watch that has ECG and can warn you of maybe atrial fibrillation identification that has been enhanced with this update. So maybe you're measuring your heart rate with ECG. Now it's been improved to give you better identification of that. And it's updated in the United States, Chile, Hong Kong, South Africa, and many regions in other places as well. I'll leave a link so you can check that out where it's available as well. Apple today released a support document stating that maybe your Apple watch stops responding and then instead shows an exclamation point with a circle around it, both in the color red. If you're having that issue, you may be able to recover it now with your iPhone after updating to watch OS 8.5 and newer. So this is something we haven't seen before and hopefully means maybe we'll be able to fix the watch if we have a problem on our own instead of bringing it to an Apple service center. So as you can see, here's the support document and it says if your watch shows an iPhone and a watch or a red exclamation point. So if we scroll down, this gives you an idea of what it might look like a red exclamation point with a circle around it. And it says in some instances, your Apple watch might show a red exclamation point. If this happens, double click the side button, then follow the steps above. And as you can see up here, it says if your Apple watch with watch OS 8.5 or later displays an animation showing a watch and iPhone being brought closer together, follow these steps. And as you can see, we have the option to recover the Apple watch. This is something we haven't seen before. So watch OS 8.5 iOS 15.4, it needs to be connected to Wi-Fi and have Bluetooth turned on. It says, put your Apple watch on its charger. 
double click the side button on your watch and then follow the steps. So this gives a lot of hope to those that can't easily access a support center or maybe an Apple store to get this resolved. So that's something they've added. That they weren't clear about in the notes, but something they seemingly added later on with that support document. If you use Apple's fitness plus, and maybe you're doing a workout, there's an update to it that provides you with audio commentary of visually demonstrated moves throughout the workout. So that's something they've added if you have fitness plus on your watch. They've also added a developer feature to allow them to express the preferences for different payment networks as well. So that's developer facing only. Now within this update, Apple has not mentioned any resolved issues specifically. So nothing is mentioned there, but there is a known issue or bug that still remains that they mentioned specifically. And that has to do with Siri where it may not properly recognize the user's speech, but only on the Apple watch series three. So there's currently a bug with that. They say it could be a problem. It may not, but if it occurs, it's a known bug and they're still working on it within watchOS 8.5. There's quite a few security updates as well. Just with any major release of watchOS, there's always a security security update, and you can see it on Apple's security website. So if we go down and tap on watchOS 8.5, it tells us what's actually been fixed as far as security. So kernel, and then we've got media remote and phone and preferences and Safari. And you'll see here, it says available for Apple watch series three and later, this is for Siri. And it says an impact is a person with physical access to the device may be able to use Siri to obtain some location information from the lock screen to fix this. A permission issue was addressed with improved validation. And then it thanks or gives credit to the person that actually submitted this. So a lot of different fixes and updates in this particular update. And while it's not a gigantic update with watchOS 8.5, I would highly recommend you install it due to those security updates. So if you were wondering if you should install watchOS 8.5, I definitely recommend it. WatchOS in general is quite stable. And while there are not major changes in this update, I think those are some nice feature ads and security updates as well. As far as battery life, while on this version, I'm at 75% and it easily gets me through a day without a problem. Typically by the time I go to bed at night, I'm down to about 40 to 50% and I've had no issues whatsoever. Performance overall has been nice and fast going into things such as weather. Everything opens pretty instantly. So no real issue here. You'll see timer. I don't typically use a lot, but it opened right up. So I really wouldn't hesitate installing this. You have some nice updates and of course those security fixes as well. As far as the next version, well, watchOS 8.6 betas probably will be pretty soon, but don't expect any major changes until watchOS 9, where we typically see that at WWDC around June, and then they release it to the public usually in September. So that's where I would expect the major changes. Right now it's just stability, a few extra feature ads with, fi with Fitness Plus, and then of course security and more. One thing I get asked a lot is what is the watch face you're using? So if we press on this, you'll see we have infograph modular. Now it's not just infograph modular. It's actually got the app called Lumi installed as well. So this is actually a paid app and you'll see it says countdown to golden hour or basically the best time to, to take photos. And it also lets you know, sunrise and sunset. So you'll see that's in the middle. And then I just adjusted the complications around it. So that's all it is infograph modular with Lumi in the middle. If you found anything else, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And of course, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description. Like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.